Is there a problem? Bannon and Dr. Lee and I all meet on Monday mornings to talk about citywide issues. It's pretty informal. The council doesn't have much real power. She's one of the members of the council. Runs the science lab here. Don't bother her unless it's important. Her lab is in the stern end of the ship. He's totally strung out. It's gonna kill him one of these days. We're the safest, most secure city in the Wasteland. Nothing can get in here without our say-so. Carry on, then. <clears throat> Decided to check out the shop, eh? If you want any of this shit, just holler. <clears throat> ah, I knew you wouldn't. Yeah, I know. Thank God he's a priest. At least I know nothing's going on between them. Father Clifford would kick him out of the priesthood if he ever found out. Yeah, he comes by every night around closing time and tries to get Cindy to let him close up. Thank God she's smarter than that. Here is our menu, sir. Thank you for coming to Gary's Galley. See anything you like, me? Did you hear that the Enclave attacked Project Purity? They've taken Hello. over the memorial. Oh my god. Did anyone escape? Hey. Yeah? What do you want? The Muddy Rudder. Bell waters down the liquor, but it's cheap. It's on the lower deck. There was some sort of battle in the city yesterday. Mr. Welcome to Rivet City Supp Welcome back, sir. You haven't heard? Angela has the hots for Diego. But since he's a priest, he's been putting her off. One of these days, she's just going to jump his bones. They say Mr. Lopez is losing it. He stands on the top of the bridge tower for hours at a time, just staring out over the city. Oh yes, she's crazy about him. He keeps telling her no, but he also spends a lot of time with her. It's really not fair to her. Poor James. His mother drinks too much. When she does, she doesn't treat him very well. Personally, I think she blames him for his father leaving her, which is ridiculous. Farewell. Clyde, I've got a little bit of everything here. Checking up on me or something? Oh, Vera's the nicest lady ever. It's so cool that you brought me here. I mean, she makes me do stuff, like clean up her hotel and all that, but she really cares about me. Plus, I found some friends here in Rivet City, too. All thanks to you. See ya, mister. They call me sister. Don't ask. Smart move. What did you want? So do I. Oh, come on. Pay more attention to what you're doing. Don't know you. Don't care. Keep it short. I'm short on time, and your five minutes are up. See ya. Haven't run into you before. You probably wouldn't remember me anyway. I'm Mr. Lopez. Nobody does. I'm not very memorable. Don't worry. It won't be a problem for much longer.
You may be right, but I have nothing to live for. Ted Strayer. I suppose I could talk to him. He is kind of a lost boy. Thank you, stranger. Someday, maybe I'll get courage. That's secure for a reason. Busy. I'm Diego, the acolyte for St. Monica's. St. Monica saved her own son's soul from eternal damnation. She is now the patron saint of lost children for the faithful everywhere. You really should come to church on Sunday mornings. The sermon will be all about St. Monica. Father Clifford takes the donations. You'll have to talk to him. Oh yes, Father Clifford conducts services every Sunday morning. You should come. Father Clifford, the sanctuary is in the ship's fore on the upper deck. The good father holds services every Sunday morning. What are you talking about? I'm a man of the cloth. Well, I will be as soon as Father Clifford... Never mind. It doesn't matter what Angela thinks. Soon I will take vows of chastity. I forgive you. More importantly, God forgives you. God bless you. I am Father Clifford. This is St. Monica's Church. She is the patron saint of lost children very popular among the faithful of Ribbit City. I'm surprised you've never heard of her. If you want to hear her story, it will be the topic of my sermon on Sunday. Services begin at 8 a.m. You should come. You would? I mean, certainly. We humbly accept whatever you can spare. However, St. Monica looks most favorably on donations of 100 caps or more. A most generous offer. God bless you. Yes, my flock is all of Rivet City. You should come to services this Sunday. I'll be telling the tale of St. Monica. St. Monica bless you. Make it quick, will you? I'm coming down and I gotta get my fix. That's what Cindy says too, but I got the itch. I need it bad. Yeah, me too. I'm Belle Bonnie, and this is the Muddy Rudder. I'll tell you what I tell all the fresh meat. Don't start anything down here, or I'll have Brock kick your ass. You must be drunk. Are you gonna order, or what? Go talk to Vera if you want gossip. I don't talk bad about folks. What'll you have? I'll be right here when you get thirsty. Well... If it isn't my hero, the guy who sprang me from the vault, I think I owe this man a drink. Here's to raising hell and living a good life out here. Cheers! Now all we need is a gang, and we could take over this whole wasteland. 
Hell yeah, I do. I could be out there and kicking butt in my own gang and everything. The tunnel snakes could ride again! Or, you know, slither again. Whatever. What? A goody two-shoes like you could never make it in a real gang. You want to hang with a tunnel snake like me? You gotta be hard. Come back if you need something. Welcome to Gary's Galley. Can I take your order? It's named after my dad. He's a great cook. James's mom, Tammy, is a real bitch. She treats him like crap. I think it's because she drinks too much. Thank you for coming to Gary's Galley. You there. What are you, some kind of lab assistant? No, you look a bit more weathered. Are you by any chance for hire? To the point. I like that. Well, as it turns out, I've misplaced some very sensitive property. Hmm. How do I put this in a way you'll understand? All you know of robots are those buckets of bolts, those Mr. Handshakers and whatnot. Well, that's not all a robot can be. You see, in the Commonwealth, we've made artificial persons. Synthetic humanoids. Programmed to think and feel and do whatever we need. And occasionally, they get confused and wander off. Nonsense! This is a machine we're talking about. Can you enslave a generator or a water purifier? Of course not. The same principle applies. But let's get back to your mission. You are to find this missing android. I've tracked him to somewhere here in the capital wasteland. He must have done something drastic, like facial surgery and a mind wipe, or else I would have found him by now. It will be no easy task. He may not even realize he's an android. Don't upset him by talking with him. Just come get me immediately. I'll handle it. Of course! I have at my disposal advanced technology from the Commonwealth. I'd be willing to share some of it with you. Just think, you'll be the envy of all your friends. Excellent! Locate my android, and you won't be disappointed. Here, listen to this message he sent me. He's mocking me! I swear, I'll make him pay for that! Forget everything you know about robots. Those buckets are mere children's toys compared to the real thing. Androids have fake skin and blood and are programmed to simulate human behavior, like breathing. They can even eat and digest food realistically. Like I said, I suspect he's had facial reconstruction and possibly even a mind wipe. Search the offices of doctors or techies for android information. If he's come into contact with these people, there may be records. Start with Dr. Preston. He lives on this leaky boat. See if he knows anything. He's a doctor, after all. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm busy trying to ignore my surroundings. Maybe... Maybe he didn't exactly wander off. Maybe he fled. Escaped captivity, as it were, if he began to misinterpret his situation. It's possible my android sought to forget his previous life. Wipe away all memory, all guilt. Trick himself into believing he really is human. So no, he may not be just an ordinary robot. But he's certainly not human, no matter how badly he wishes it so. I made him. I want him. 
End of story. By God, you're as annoying as you are clever. Very well. I'll tell you what you want to know, if it helps you locate my property. The duty of this particular unit was the hunting and capturing of other escaped androids. Yes, others have escaped. It's one of the side effects of having such an advanced AI. Machines start to think for themselves, fool themselves into believing they have rights. And so, this particular android may have believed he'd done something wrong, immoral, and wanted to forget those deeds. Satisfied now? This particular android, designation A321, is different, special, the most advanced synthetic humanoid I've ever developed. The others, like my escort Armitage there, are all older models, easily replicated. Ah, but A321? It will take years to recreate him. So you see, this android must be located at all costs. The others are all acceptable losses, but A321, he is irreplaceable. Yes, well, there are reasons we don't want our technology leaking into the wasteland. Which is why I've asked you to retrieve it. Which is what you should be doing right now. The longer you wait, the colder the trail becomes. The sooner you find my property, the sooner I can get out of this slum. Really, how do you people live like this? The Commonwealth itself is nothing but a war-ravaged quagmire of violence and despair. Inside the sealed environment of the Institute, however. But the Institute's affairs are none of your concern. Your undeveloped mind couldn't even begin to comprehend what we've accomplished. Of course you do. You don't look hurt. What can I do for you? That old story? Well, now, I haven't heard talk of that in quite some time. It was all just a rumor, a hoax. Someone's idea of a practical joke. Story was, there was an android, escaped from the Commonwealth up north, from someplace called the Institute. There was a hollow tape that got circulated. I think I've got a copy of it. Yeah, here it is. Give it a listen. That's a man's voice. Hoax for sure. Like I said, it's a hoax. Don't bother with it. Someone sent tapes like that to pretty much every doctor in the wasteland. None of us believed it. Take care of yourself. God bless you, and keep you safe. What are you talking about? Father Clifford says she is my trial, my temptation. I must choose between her and the church. I have chosen the church. I swear to you, our relationship is chaste. I am only her friend. However, I must confess, I have not done all I could. I am sorely tempted. You have given me new resolve. I will tell Angela we cannot see each other again, even as friends. God bless you. someone else will. Zimmer doesn't seem to understand we're the best at this sort of thing. I'm sure he's had others too. He won't shut up about the thing. 
He was babbling about a lipoplasticator and microdermal graftalizer. What are those, you ask? Apparently something doctors use to mess up someone's face beyond recognition. So we don't even have a description to work off of. To make matters worse, he now thinks the android got his memories wiped or something. Find some tech junkies, knock on some doors, and try to find something called a circuit neuralizer. Knock on some heads too if you have to. Get it done. Despite the harshness of the wasteland, I've discovered in more than a few here a compassion that is unheard of in the Commonwealth. Perhaps it's the daily struggle for life here which gives appreciation for life in general, whether human or android. In a few days, I'll be a free man. A new man. Let me say thank you now for referring me to Pinkerton at Rivet City, because I will not remember any of this soon. You've been rather busy lately. Asking questions, investigating. So is that it? You're some kind of investigator? A detective for hire? Or do you have some kind of personal grudge against an innocent android who simply wants to be left alone? Please tell me. I'd really like to know. Well, if that's true, then the first thing you need to do is halt your investigation. No more questions. No more searching. The movement I'm involved with, we help his kind escape their commonwealth-imposed slavery. We help them disappear. You understand? You really want help? Take this. It's an internal component from the very android you're searching for. Don't ask how I obtained it. Present it to Dr. Zimmer in Rivet City. Tell him the android is dead and that was on the corpse. He'll believe you. Do that and Zimmer will go back to the Commonwealth and leave that poor soul alone. Do that and you'll have saved a man's life. Just understand that this android is now, for all intents and purposes, a man. He looks human, he acts human, he believes he is human. But even if he's not, even if he's a machine, he's capable of rational thought and emotion. So you see, his soul is as human as yours or mine. This person, and he is a person, deserves a chance at freedom. Please, if there's a shred of decency in you, don't take that away from him. Of course, if you help me, and thus the android, God and the universe will smile upon you. Is there any better compensation? We call ourselves the Railroad. Our mission is the rescue and salvation of synthetic humanoids. Androids, as they're more commonly known. Yes, if we are able, but there are others in the wasteland who assist in the plight of human slaves. Our android brethren have only us. Tell you what. You deliver that component to Zimmer and tell him the android is dead, and you can consider yourself a member in good standing. You know what you need to do. By the time you get this message, I'll already be gone. I'm escaping the Commonwealth. I want to live my own life on my own terms, as my own man. I know what you're thinking, that I'm malfunctioning. I used to think that's what caused the runaways too. But I know better now. Self-determination is not a malfunction. I'm not just willing to put up with all the bullshit anymore. You humans are going to have a full-fledged rebellion on your hands if you don't start treating us synths as persons. I know you'll be marshalling the retention bureau to come after me, but I know all the tricks of the trade. You won't be finding me, I assure you. By the time you get this, I will be someone else. It's the price I pay for my liberation my final act of rebellion against a system I no longer believe in. Goodbye, Zimmer, and good riddance. If you're, lis if you're listening to this recording, it is because you're believed to be trustworthy. I hope that is the case, because this recording puts us both in danger. I'm escaping from the Commonwealth. I'm an android, a synthetic man, a slave. The men hunting me are ruthless and will stop at nothing to retrieve their property. 
I need to find a doctor in the wasteland to perform facial reconstruction. I also need someone who knows a great deal about computers. I need... I need to have my memories erased and my face altered to look like someone else. 